is Mark Adelberg of Adelberg Montavon Pediatric Dental, located uh, right here on Long Island, New York. I'm here to talk to you about uh, infant oral exams or early intervention. Uh, the Academy of Pediatric Dentistry and the Academy of Pediatric Medicine recommends that the first visit takes place at one years old. Uh, this is a concept that's not foreign to many dentists. This guideline has been in place for over 15 years. However, it seems to be a problem getting patients in that early. And many parents, pediatricians, general dentists often ask why come in that early. Um, you know, the advantages of seeing a one-year-old are many. Uh, one, uh, let's talk about risk management or risk factors. If you're a family that comes with a lot of decay, parents, siblings, and so forth, we'd like to prevent that decay from, that decay from occurring. Um, habits, fingers, thumbs, pacifiers, you know, how do we prevent that from causing uh, a malformation in the way your child bites, smiles, possibly even breathes due to the fact that their teeth or their skeleton is out of whack. Um, talk about even things like trauma. You know, we'll, we'll tell our parents who have toddlers of that age are just starting to walk. You know, patients whose teeth may be in jeopardy of falling, hitting a table, even something uh, that seems rather silly but biting on an electrical cord. These are the sort of things that we go over with parents. Um, you know, our goal is, is like every other parent. We don't want your child to have any trauma. We don't want them to have any decay. So a parent who says, well, my child never goes to bed with a bottle, thinks they can't get things like baby bottle rot, but we see decay that forms from regular glasses, sippy cups, even breastfeeding. So this, these are the sort of things we would coach parents with at an early age. A lot of parents are fearful, well, what if my child doesn't behave? Is that gonna have a negative impact on their life? And I will tell you that our patients that start off really young become the best patients in the practice. And you know, they kind of start to develop that mentality of been there, done that. Uh, they're getting coached at home. You know, patients who come in early, yeah, it's true. Uh, they may not sit well. But uh, I've yet to see a patient raise their hand and say, hey mom, I'm ready for my MMR vaccination. Let's go with the left arm instead of the right today. So when you bring your child to the pediatrician at a really young age, you never think twice about it. But for whatever reason, when you go to the, pedi the pediatric dentist, you start to think twice and you shouldn't. You know, early intervention is very important. If I told you your kindergartner needs to go in for reading or math and or speech, you would say, great, early intervention. I say your one-year-old needs to go to the dentist to learn how to properly take care of their teeth, their smile, their growth and development. You should also say, of course, that's a no-brainer. So uh, again, uh, both academies, Academy of Pediatric Dentistry and Pediatric Medicine, uh, will both are going to encourage you to bring your child in as early as one years old. For more information on our practice, please visit us on the web, and we hope to see you soon.